The scooter license written test will soon be getting an update. Starting June 5th, there will be five video questions about potential road hazards. Test takers will be asked for the safest response to real traffic risks. The exam update aims to improve Taiwan's road safety as nearly 1,900 people died in scooter-related accidents last year. Driving in a straight line for seven seconds is considered the trickiest part of Taiwan's scooter license test. Last year, 1,886 people died in scooter-related accidents in Taiwan, accounting for more than 60 percent of all traffic deaths. In a bid to improve road safety, the Highway Bureau is adding a new set of questions to the written test for scooter licensing. Starting June 5th, the written test will have video questions on hazard identification, in addition to the current questions based on pictures of traffic scenarios. Framed from a scooter rider's perspective, the video questions ask about safe practices, such as what to do if a car on the left signals a lane change to the right. A total of 109 video questions like this will be added to the bank. From June 5th, the written test will still have 50 questions, but five of the 10 picture scenarios will be replaced by video questions to prepare prospective drivers for real road dangers. It should help getting familiar with real traffic scenarios. As far as personal safety goes, I think the more cautious, the better. If there are such questions on the exam, it would give the written test more practical value. Practice questions will be available for download from the Highway Bureau website. As before, test takers must watch all the videos on the Bureau's motorcycle hazard perception education platform before scheduling their exam. The new questions will help test takers understand the hazards they may encounter on the road and take preventative measures. Five video questions will be added to the test, chosen out of a pool of 109 videos. The software is already set up, but it is still being calibrated and tested. There's still a month and a half to go before the new test launches. It remains to be seen whether the updated format will have an effect on reducing road casualties.